Jefferson Newman can now ban gay students or other students that they feel don't live by their religious beliefs. How is that possible? A waiver they were just approved for by the federal government. Good evening, I'm Ted Hall. And I'm Amanda Hara. The ban can also be applied to unwed mothers, women who've had an abortion, even pregnant students. Only on Local 8 News, anchor Lauren Davis was on campus today and now joins us with details. Here at Carson Newman University, they're taking a lot of heat from a waiver saying that they can discriminate against gay students and mothers who have children out of wedlock. So I sat down with the president to see what he has to say about that. Carson Newman is a private Southern Baptist College in Jefferson County. The university's president sent a letter in May asking to be exempt from Title IX, which says colleges cannot discriminate against students. This is who we are as a Christian university. These are our religious principles. And in a changing world, we would like to reaffirm that this is who we are and who we intend to be. Dr. O'Brien says that he filed the waiver on the advice of his attorney. You're the president. You're not the one to file something unless you understand it. Yeah, I understood that our legal counsel said that this would further uh, establish our identity as a religious school, a Christian school. We challenge his answers to help make sense of it all. Do you discriminate? I don't know how it would be. Well, then why file the waiver then? Yeah, that's a good question. Dr. O'Brien says the waiver won't change the policy they already have in place, again putting the spotlight on the school's attorney. I believe he felt that it might strengthen our position in relation to First Amendment rights. Um, I don't really know why something would be necessary beyond that, but that was his counsel, and since he's an expert in the field, we we uh, followed the template. We talked to students to see what they thought about their school having the right to discriminate. I don't think Carson Newman would ever outright discriminate or do anything against anyone, but I could see why this is a Christian university, and so we need to protect like, our Christian values as well. So I don't think it's right to discriminate against anyone. They have the right to waive that if they want to. Again, Dr. O'Brien assured me that next year they will not discriminate against any students. In Jefferson County, Lauren Davis, Local 8 News. And the lawyer who advised Dr. O'Brien to file the waiver also filed for nearly a dozen other Christian schools across the nation. There are a total of 30 schools in the U.S. that are now exempt from Title IX so far.